Hi everyone, I'm Anish. So let's uh, solve the question on Zener Daud. So we have been given uh, one circuit. So with a Zener Daud, right? So the question has uh, like uh, asked us to find the uh, VC versus IC plot intuitively. Then we have to find the time when the Zener Daud reaches breakdown, and also find the limits of the input voltage if the maximum power dissipated in the Zener Daud is 12 millivolt, right? So uh, like first, let us uh, understand what is Zener Daud is, right? So like uh, I won't like uh, draw the uh, characteristics here, but I will tell you a bit about the Zener Daud. So basically, we operate the Zener Daud at the reverse bias, right? And we uh, take use of the concept of the Zener breakdown. So Zener breakdown occurs around like five volts only, where the current changes very high amount, but the voltage doesn't change that much. Okay, so we make use of that concept. So like, uh, so first let's uh, solve for the first uh, option, right? Plot VC versus IC intuitively. So what I can do is let me take the circuit here. Next page. What I can do is first let me think that if this Zener dot wasn't there, right? If this Zener dot wasn't there, what would have been the capacitor voltage? So at initially it would have been zero then it would have been charged to 12 volts right so let me plot for that case right if i plot for that case with respect to type i am only plotting for the capacitor voltage right so initially it would have been zero then it would have reached to 12 volts right but what is happening here is that uh, this zener diode is not letting the capacitor to reach total of 12 volts because once this uh, like reaches 5 volts right the zener diode reaches its breakdown condition hence the voltage doesn't increase as like this zener diode is used in voltage regulator circuits so the voltage doesn't increase in this point it remains constant like and also the capacitor voltage also doesn't increase so like why you may ask as this uh, becomes 5 volts right as vc becomes 5 volts it doesn't change so what is ic ic equals to c dvc by dt now as vc is constant so dvc by dt will be zero hence ic is zero hence the capacitor will reach steady state okay it won't change its voltage anymore so basically we will have five volts across so what will happen to this vc it will get charged to five volts like this only then it will suddenly remain constant okay so it will follow the exponential curve until five volts then it will remain constant now what is happening to ic so let me plot the IC also. So IC basically, uh, if the Zener dot wasn't there, it was from this 12 by 5, right? Initially, the uh, capacitor voltage was zero. So the initial current IC zero is uh, 12 volts. So let me write this IC zero plus is 12 minus zero divided by five kilo ohms, which is 2.5. 4 milliamps okay so uh, like initially the current was 2.4 milliamps then at steady state it will go to zero okay it will go to zero 2.4 milliamps right okay now as the zener dot is there what will happen is until 5 volts it follows so what is the capacitor current at 5 volts so when the capacitor voltage is 5 volts what is the current so i don't know the time when it reaches 5 volts but let me calculate for the current right so when vc equals to 5 volts ic equals to this 12 minus vc divided by 5 kilo ohms right so 12 minus uh, this uh, 5 divided by 5 this is 7 by 5 milliamps so it will be like something uh, 7 by 5 milliamps of current so what is happening is from 2.4 it is going right 2.4 it is going to 7 by 5 milliamps it is following this curve then suddenly it is going to zero okay suddenly it is going to zero like as i like uh, proved here only the capacitor uh, like is suddenly going to zero so what will be the vc versus ic plot so let me plot like draw the graph here this is ic this is vc right so first point is at vc equals to 5 volts what is happening to ic ic is becoming zero 
so for sure after 5 volts right after the capacitor voltage is 5 volts it will be zero it will never like be any higher voltage obviously the uh, capacitor voltage won't ever reach above 5 volts but if uh, it goes above 5 volts it will be zero like uh, around 5 volt around 5 volts right now before 5 volts what is happening before 5 volts basically it is like reducing the uh, as the capacitor voltage is increasing the capacitor current is reducing right so the plot will intuitively look something like this it will reduce 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 not like some linearly it will reduce like some something this but at 5 volts there will be sudden change right why because it had 7 by 5 of currents it had 7 by 5 milliamps of currents right then it suddenly went to zero suddenly went to zero so it will be zero. so this will be 7 by 5 milliamps and this will be uh something like uh 2.4 milliamps right so uh this was the like the first part of the question now let's solve for the second part right so for the second part right what we have been given find the time when the zener doubt reaches breakdown so when does it reach breakdown basically when this vc reaches 5 volts right so for that what we need to do is let me again bring the circuit so we have to assume that the zener doubt isn't there If the zener dot isn't there, what will the capacitor uh, reach to steady state? It will be 12 volts, right? So if the like uh, the zener dot comes into action just when the capacitor voltage reaches 5 volts, right? Before that, it doesn't come into action. So before that, what will the capacitor uh, will try to charge to? It will try to charge to 12 volts. So we'll write the uh, like uh, transient equation according to the final steady state voltage of 12 volts, right? So what will be the steady state voltage? Vc of t, like uh, transient voltage. It will be twelve, one minus e to minus minus t upon tau. So, what is tau in this case? This is at Vc less than equals to five volt, right? This is valid only for this uh, this case, right? So, before Vc reaches five volts, so this equation will be valid. So, let's calculate the time constant. So, before the Vc is reached five volts, this zener dot doesn't come into action at all. So, this zener dot can be like uh, open circuited. only this portion of the circuit remains so what is the time constant time constant here is basically 5 kilo into like a simple rc i should write first r times c which is equals to 5 kilo times 1 micro okay so uh, what will be the time constant basically 5 milliseconds okay so the time constant is 5 milliseconds now we have to calculate for the condition when the voltage across the capacitor reaches 5 volts so vc equals to 5 so 5 equals to 12 minus 1 minus e to the minus t upon 5 so i am assuming t is in milliseconds right both of them are milliseconds so the uh, units are same so let's uh, let me like uh, solve for this so basically it is something like e to the power minus t upon 5 is equals to 7 by 12 if you solve for this now this is around like a uh, 0.583 i have like a uh, already uh, solve this so what will be the time t will be equals to uh, basically 0.539 times 5 okay t will be equals to this only so uh, t equals to 2.694 milliseconds right so the time at which the capacitor voltage reaches 5 volts it is 2.694 so at that time the capacitor voltage reaches 5 volts and hence uh, the current through it becomes zero and the zener dot comes into action so this is basically the uh, second part of the question now what is the third part find the limits of vn if the maximum power dissipated across the zener dot is 12 milliwatt so uh, let me go for this is the second part right this one was the first part so the third part so what is power power equals to v times i now one thing we can observe like it has uh, like given us the find the ma uh, limit of vn if the maximum power dissipated across the zener dot is 12 milliwatt one thing we know that the zener voltage will always be constant right it is always 5 volts so 
only what can vary the current can vary right so let me again take the uh, circuit here only the current can vary so in our case what is pz pz equals to vz times i so i is a variable here so if the maximum what is the maximum power pz max when will it occur when the current is maximum it is basically i max as the voltage is constant right so after that what will happen if if the like uh, dissipated power increases then the maximum rated power then the zener diode will get damaged and like the circuit won't work okay so we can find the i max from here what is uh, pz max given pz max is basically 12 milliwatt right 12 milliwatt and the zener voltage is 5 so it is 2.4 milliamps of uh, current right so the maximum current that the zener diode can take is 2.4 milliamps of current after that the zener diode will burn right it won't uh, it it will get damaged so for that uh, what is like the uh, limit of the vn right how much limit we can give so basically when does this condition happen so let me draw the circuit here this is vn this is 5 ki uh, 5 kilo ohms and like this is 5 volts only right this capacitor has settled all the current is flowing through the uh, through the zener diode only right this is 5 volts okay so for what amount of input voltage that the current here becomes this 2.4 milliamps right current through here is zero okay capacitor has reached steady state so let me write the like basic uh, kvl right sorry kcl 5 vn minus 5 so this current should be 2.4 right so v minus 5 divided by 5 uh, equals to 2.4 right so uh, basically if i now write it for v in minus 5 equals to 12 v in equals to 17 volts right so v in this is the maximum value like slowly we are increasing the v in as we are increasing the v in the iz also increases right so th from this equation we can uh, like uh, see that v in minus 5 divided by 5 equals to iz so as like this uh, this v in increases right this iz will also increase okay so we have to find a limit for which until then uh, we can increase but after that we can't increase okay so this is the limit right this is the v in maximum okay and what is the v in minimum basically the v in minimum is uh, when the iz current is zero because uh, like iz can't be negative if iz is negative then the circuit is not working as a regulator like the voltage at the output is not constant 5 volts right it will be some other voltage like the capacitor will get charged to 4 volts or something like that but we, we use a zener diode to get our output voltage as constant so we have to at least uh, reach the breakdown condition so for reaching the breakdown condition minimum iz value should be zero right so iz minimum equals to zero So what is uh, for I Z zero minimum equals zero V N should be equals to five volts right so we got the V N minimum voltage right it is five volts so what is the range of V N from seventeen volts to five volts this is the range. so like uh, that's how we will uh, solve this question right so what we did here basically let me summarize so first we have to plot the vc versus ic intuitively how will you do that basically first you will plot like vc with the respect to time and ic with the respect to time without the zener diode then you will find the condition when the zener diode becomes active like at 5 volt it becomes active then plot for that plot for that then you plot v ic versus vc you you can't directly go from like uh, to ic versus vc directly because there is some relation in time domain right so first you have to plot that then you can go to that okay so we we went to that then what we did find the time when the zener diode becomes active when it will become active when the voltage across it becomes 5 volts then it will become reverse bias it will go to reverse breakdown so some current will flow through here before that very zero zero amount of current was flowing okay so we find the time for that then what we did was find the limits of vn why because as vn increases right 
this current changes okay as this voltage is constant 5 volts as v in increases this current changes and current through this capacitor is zero as steady state current through this capacitor is zero hence all of the current increase goes through this and if it reaches some threshold value the zener diode will get uh, like uh, heated and it will it will like totally uh, get damaged okay it won't work so we have to find the limits so we find the maximum value of current through that we find the like maximum input voltage and for minimum right it has to at least work for zero volts and we uh, will find zero amps of current so we found the minimum uh, voltage also from that we find the range okay so basically that's it for this question thank you for watching